Hello my friends, thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I love all things color. You can tell from my makeup, I'm a very colorful person. So um, we talk about makeup, beauty, uh, skincare and also my favorite topic, mineral sunscreen. Sunscreens in general, but mineral sunscreen, I always, I have a soft corner. So in fact, I have a um, playlist dedicated just for mineral sunscreen. Maybe there's like one or two chemical sunscreens thrown in there as well. Don't mind that. But in general, it's, it's all about sunscreen. So if you're on the market for looking for a sunscreen, Definitely take a look at that playlist, grab a snack because it is a long list, it's definitely a long list. So speaking of sunscreens, that's what we're going to be talking about today, swatching and demoing and seeing what it looks like on my skin. So if you like this kinds of video, definitely consider giving this video a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell because we talk about all about all of these uh, topics here. So yeah don't want to miss out on that so definitely hit the subscribe button and let's get right into the video first aid beauty you guys know i'm always scouting i'm always on the lookout for uh sunscreens interesting new sunscreens because i use them a ton regardless of what the weather is regardless of what the climate is the season is i put sunscreen all over my face and neck decolletage shoulder and even a little bit on the back where as far as my fingers can reach even here and also the the nape the back of my neck like everywhere i use a ton of sunscreen so i'm always on the lookout and i'm always excited to try new so first aid beauty has come out with a brand new sunscreen i remember trying their minerals this is also mineral sunscreen the one they just released one we'll be trying out today but uh two years ago i believe they also released a 100 percent mineral sunscreen i'm not sure if it's available for on the market or not don't know but i kind of liked it but i honestly i just don't remember it i remember buying it but i just don't remember it which probably goes to say that i didn't really enjoy it all that much i don't remember what happened to that but yeah that but i remember that it was mildly tinted and it was 100 percent mineral it was it had that dry silicone uh that a dry slip kind of feel to it it was heavily silicone so i don't remember really what happened to it so this retails for i don't really sh oh great somewhere in the 30s price range definitely with tax like we pay like nine point something percent tax right with tax it was definitely less than 40 if i'm not sure or a little over 40 maybe 40 41 i'm gonna have not very not overly not it's not like a touch up price range right price tag so uh this is just called mineral sunscreen if i'm not wrong the earlier sunscreen was also just called mineral sunscreen i just remember this exact font sizing this exact same thing on the uh Oh, I just thought I saw like lipstick. I'm sorry to flash my teeth at you guys, but no, no, no lipstick. This is a fantastic lipstick, by the way. So anyways, uh, so mineral sunscreen and the spec SPF 30, 100% mineral sunscreen and the zinc oxide only has zinc oxide, no titanium dioxide. Zinc oxide is 20%. Um, so what else? Where is this made? Um, where are you made? It does come with an expiry date. Uh, and where is this made? Oh, great. I don't see it. Maybe I'll see it. Maybe I'll see it here. In the package. Distributed. Tell oh, made in USA. Okay. It says made in USA. And uh, I wanted to give a shout out to some key ingredients that they tell. It's like really amazing. It says it has zinc oxide key ingredient avocado oil and vitamin e so these are the three main ingredients that the selling ingredients they say that's in this mineral sunscreen and the benefits is lightweight non-greasy easy to spread absorbs quickly no white cast on any skin tone that's great right awesome so that's something we definitely want no white cast and easy to spread uh so so 30 plus dollars and you get 50 milliliters it's 1.7 fluid ounce of product and made in usa spf 30 and 100 percent mineral sunscreen it's kind of like a gist 
so the packaging is definitely different from the older mineral sunscreen they released that was just like a bottle you just like a twist the cap open and just squeeze it this is like a tube but it has a pump built in so um yeah let me quickly uh, because they said all these key ingredients avocado oil and vitamin e i want to see if it's like somewhere in the top of the ingredients or in the middle or at the bottom uh, I see sunflower oil, uh, oat kernel, oh yeah, cocoa glucide, coconut, alkaids, glycerine. I don't really see avocado. Maybe I don't really see avocado. I see sunflower seed oil. Oh, wait, wait. sorry about that. I do see avocado oil very much in the top. It's like the sixth or seventh ingredients or definitely like a top 10 ingredient. So there is a lot of avocado oil. It's also like oat in oats in there and then tocopherol is a vitamin e i think if i'm or c tocopherol is c right if i'm not wrong anyways so yeah let's see just a pump and there we go no tint zero tint which makes me very happy and the consistency is like very whipped it's not like, look at that. It's like so whipped. It's not like a cream. It's not like a pasty consistency at all. It's not serum-y either. It's not absolutely runny, so, so thin. It's actually beautiful whipped consistency and it spreads well. So you can see easy. And that's what it kind of looks like with a little bit of rubbing it into the skin. I know it looks like there is a cast, but if you keep working uh, the product and kind of rubbing it look at that it's pretty good and um, it does leave a little bit of streak I would say now you don't see it but on the face it kind of leaves a little streaks which all all sunscreens really do even mineral even chemical sunscreens do so uh, just leave it a little bit look, look at that that cast that not I, I, I don't want to call it a cast this just like mild layer that you can see between my skin which is kind of right now has disappeared so just give it a few minutes and that that kind of like layer of sunscreen that you see on the skin I don't even want to call it a cast the layer of sunscreen that you see on the skin will even disappear and voila so so amazing i really like the i love whipped i love serum -y type and then i love that whipped consistency they are absolute pleasure to just spread it on your skin and just like go about your day i love it so so far so good uh we definitely want to see what it looks on the face and all over the face so definitely let's head on to the demo section and see what it looks like on my face and then you guys will hear the makeup details did i give it I think I did like tell you guys a little bit, but yeah, makeup details and everything. I'll see you guys there. All right, let's see what this looks like on my skin. So I'm getting it out and I already got a little bit on my skin. So let's see, let's put this entire thing on my face. that is a lot but that's just that's usually how much i re, uh, put on you know that's what it looks like and i know you can see a slight difference between the actual skin tone and sunscreen but i'm positive this mildest trace of sunscreen will just like set and kind of disappear after a few seconds and even if it doesn't disappear uh, actually it did disappear from like previous usage and uh, experience and telling you but even if it doesn't on your complexion i feel this is a sunscreen and this is going to be streaky and it's not a complexion product nothing to smooth your it's, it's just there to give protection to your skin so i would always recommend setting your face to give with a powder to give like a like a good finished like a polished look you know what i mean otherwise it's just sunscreen i think just for serum sunscreen it's good or even uh if it's like a bronze tone sunscreen uh then it would work you know color sciences um bronze tone sunscreen 
by itself even that is a little streaky what's not streaky is that flex product that they launched last year oh we have to get rid of this <laughs> they did put a lot forehead is a lot let's see this is gonna kind of push it to the hairline basically that's what it looks like all right I think if you just give it a few minutes, it'll just, you can see it's already kind of setting and that here I kind of over applied again, but this is pretty good for me. I definitely like this better than the earlier uh, mineral sunscreen first aid beauty released, like uh, I think maybe two years ago. That was a little tinted, but it was more like a cream and it was... I don't know i like this better even without any tint i like this whipped consistency it's kind of i like it so moisturizing as well so i'm just gonna quickly set my face with powder and we'll talk about um my final thoughts all right guys i am back <laughs> yes this lipstick is really really just the height of insanity just wow okay i this is um this is actually not a very bright red to be honest there is a brighter red than this this is ysl's candy glaze uh gloss stick yes this is not like a it's amazing formula not a formula where it just melts off as you're applying or just like uh feathers and bleeds no it's such an amazing 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 formula if you even like the tiniest bit glossy finish on your lips you really need to try the candy glaze by ysl is insane such such amazing formula anyways let's talk about uh, i know i love my look as well it screams sunshine right such a popsicle beautiful orange definitely maybe I'll, i should recreate this look this is a new eyeshadow palette from cleona uh they did a collab with uh influencer and i got the palette and i just started playing with it and this look turned out to be so so pretty maybe i should do a, like a review on it well i will do a review on it but i i what i meant to say is like a tutorial because i love it to be honest it's in the camera it looks even more prettier than in person i believe so anyways let's talk final thoughts on this really hope there's no lipstick no lipstick see it doesn't even bleed it doesn't go inside it just like stays put on your lips okay i love the formula i set my face with powder i used um where are you i just have i uh, can't find the setting powder but the setting powder was also laura geller and that's um balance and brighten i think in the shade dark or deep and then I kind of set my face, entire face, with the glowy powder, which is Balance and Glow in the shade Tan. And on my lips, you guys saw what I have, YSL's Candy Glaze. And then on the eyes, I said it's like a new collab. I really regret not bringing the palette here. It's a really pretty palette. And what else? Oh, uh, for the cheeks, I used this teeny tiny highlighter from Laura Geller. It looked so, so plain and so, like like a non-performer but it performs i mean it looks so so incredibly glowy that's what i have on my on my uh chin and also on the high points of my cheeks i love it so so much and for blush i know it looks strong but it kind of blended out so beautifully it is cover effects custom uh wait monochromatic duos this is this is my most favorite shade out of all of them it's in the shade spiced cinnamon spectacular on dark skin i'm telling you if, if you if you have darker skin and if you just want to buy one shade from that car effects monochromatic line which ulta does like 50 percent off every time they do that 50 percent off sale that they have that is always in that and you really should consider getting that because it's just amazing amazing formula all right enough makeup talk let's talk about um the formula i love it it's kind of like the beautiful whipped consistency it's it like applies onto the skin beautifully it does it is tricky like i said it's not a complexion product it's not makeup it is basically like uh, fda considers this like 
you know like medicine right so it does leave streaks so definitely set your face with powder but even if it does like based on my application and like the past experience it does leave streak initially but after an hour or so even that streakiness vanishes to be honest so if you're not really minding the fact that there's streak for a few like a good like an hour or so you can just put it on you don't even need to set your face with powder to be honest and it does it's not overly oily it definitely leaves your face glowy you can see here you can see the glow uh all in all it's a perfect product the price is not too too high the fact is 100 percent mineral sunscreen and it's zinc oxide 20 percent and it has zero tint so it's not going to stain your clothes or uh, whatever i all in all, i really really like it uh, i definitely like this better than the mineral sunscreen they released like two years ago with a tint with a mild tint i feel that kind of left like a tiny bit tiny teeny bit of white cast i really like this better because it has no tint to be honest that is absolutely definitely a plus uh like always because i always put sunscreen also on my neck and also in the decolletage area I, it is never just for the face for me i put it everywhere uh so yeah it's definitely a plus so all in all two thumbs up absolutely recommended if you're looking to buy something at a good price point with zero tint 100 percent mineral sunscreen definitely consider this it's really 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 good so there you guys um i really hope you enjoy this video hope this video is helpful making you decision whether you want to buy it or not i would say go for it so i will see you guys very soon Bye bye